Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more European with us for we're still playing as the Knights. We're going for the Knights of the Caribbean. We're very close to doing what we need to do, which is take all well all the Caribbean, which we of course have the Knickets. And uh, we also have uh, most of the Mediterranean islands, except for Venice, which I'm not quite sure how we're gonna get get that yet. But uh, there's gonna be a way. And if we have to no CV for it, then so be it. We're still calling a bunch of stuff we took from the Ottomans. We just started doing that, so there's still stuff to do there. And we're not done when we finish the, um, but when we take Venice, because we kind of also want on the roads again, which requires Constantinople, which we own, but also Antioch and Jerusalem, which uh, we still have to take. And uh, I believe I sent somebody last time to start fabricating on Mr. M, and that is true. So we're gonna make some claims and then we're gonna go crush Mr. M as well. For now we have a bit of new land to, uh, you know. No, I'm, what's gone? Something, something with the C. Anyway, we're gonna make it work right. <laughs> Because the word is gone. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Um, maybe you folks could go to Corfu. I oh, know you're also all cannons, right. My army's all foobard over here. Yeah, it's gonna have to be okay. No, the, my claims on Honduras. No, no, not my claims. <laughs> Poor Portugal. Um, now we could consider... Ooh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hello, Beaufort. How about we fabricate it on you there? Because I'm kind of tempted to take all of the 30 colonies just because I can. Um, you know, and there's Rio de Prata, which is now ripe for the eating. Uh, and shouldn't put up too much of a fight. Eh. Not a lot of a fight, indeed. Are you relevant here? You kind of are. Are we going to see... Separatists down here anytime soon. Dahomians? No, not Dahomey. Um, that's a bit of a no. It's the British Brazilians. They are rising up. Just not yet. Hmm. But I want to core the stuff anyway before I go for another war. But that might be might be a place to go. Now, how do I turn these things into proper stacks? 40 is our supply limit around here. That kind of makes sense, right? Because we can take eight cannons, which may give the stack for 10 cannons, which is a nice number. And um, as it's still not having any issue with the supply. Uh, technically, because we have some maneuver on this general, there's slightly less taken here, but that's... Uh, I don't want to rely on that because that tends to change and then people are unhappy. Um, I'm just going to plop you folks, these cannons, over to Chios, I think. Just get ourselves some of that um, suppression. Have we completely colonized the Caribbean yet? Uh, we have not. Do we need to? No. No, we don't, but I wanna. So I shall. Uh, somebody actually took this admin tech. We don't care too much about the remaining innovativeness here. We are very innovative. -nif. Innovative? -nif? Yes. <laughs> we are very innovative already. I don't think we have to particularly care about increasing that even higher, especially since the length of the campaign should not be, well, all that long anymore. We just split some of these folks up because that's a lot of guys. It's gonna be even more guys once these all reinforce. Yeah. Let's just grab some of these infantry. That's a bit much. This gives me 34 combat with here, which seems good enough. And then they can join in with the cannons on Corfu. 
I'm just trying to remake these stacks in such a way that they can at least stand up to rebel incursion if needed. And yes, I'm still calling it incursion if these rebels come and try to take my stuff. Uh, Chesha. Chesha. Or then Texas. Needs some proselytizing. And the Dohomians are under control on here, right? We have a guy here with an army. It's gonna crunch them once they show their ugly heads. Put Tunis. Getting ravaged by peasants. Imagine. <laughs> if you will. Uh, why would anybody want to do that? It's not something anybody should ever have to imagine. Ravaged by peasants. Humana. Force and convert. And I think I said this last episode, but I doubt that we're gonna ever hit full on uh, religious unity. But the fact that we have two missionaries now is gonna be at least somewhat useful. Guanipa. And the fact that I care so little about money right now that I have not much of a problem just turning on the edict everywhere for faster conversion. And then at some point I'm gonna do another pass and turn them all off. At least that would be the plan. <laughs> that would be the plan. So this is full combo, that's a bit too many cannons. So this guy in Naxos obviously is not <laughs> not doing too hot. If we ever had rabbits rise up there. But what's your region anyway? Naxos? E.g. Nekapelago. Well, could be Rhodes then, but Rhodes shouldn't have rebels, so actually maybe... Yeah, let's we'll see. Once these rebels get closer to being successful or to rising up, we can still just go and um, move an army there to crunch them. As long as we have our boats around, moving around the army should be quite trivial. Trivial. Uh, the homians, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we move any closer to actual the homie to be ready to crunch him? We probably should. So they're gonna rise up in a wood ah. and that's a bit to go. A rising star, lose prestige for a half price, spy network dude, or gain 10 prestige. Don't think I'm gonna imply a half imply employ a half press spy network guy, so I'm gonna just protect the prestige. Renaissance. Civilized peasants. Terrifying news. Corruption is actually growing. I can't believe every single province I'm converting is in a new state. <laughs> San Francisco. Wait. <laughs> it's kind of not San Francisco, is it? Um, I mean, it doesn't seem particularly unlikely that uh, multiple places in the New World would be named after a Catholic saint. I hope these Kongians don't get any ideas now. Um, But still ought to read San Francisco and not be San Francisco. Now somewhere... Ooh, gems. <laughs> I feel like there was an area in which we were able to colonize where provinces were a lot bigger. Manaus is a center of trade. The Guiana node, which is not useless. I'm not currently steering from there, but we technically could. Oh, we never checked the multiplier thing. Hmm. There's no money in the Guyana node. I don't know how worth this is doing. I'm just gonna finish um, the Caribbean first. Now, 
The thing I wanted to check earlier was this, right? We're now steering from Panama, uh, which should add value to what's happening in Panama. If I could find my merchants. Probably already scrolled over them. Missionaries, buildings, colonists, colonies, refections, navies, armies, merchants. There you go. Panama. No. Where does it tell me again? There's some tooltip. Okay, we are increasing outgoing value by 6.9%, which really is not a ton. Don't know what that's based on. Clearly it's not based on my trade power, because I have a lot of that. Six point nine percent. We're doing is also six point nine percent here. Nice. The fact that it's the same in both places makes me think that it's based on some number that is not local. So say something from this screen maybe. Wouldn't know what that would be. Nothing of this looks like six point nine or a multi Triple of 6.9. Let's find out. We had to learn, right? Let's grab ourselves a Googling machine. EU4 Steer Trade Multiplier or something. Uh, Steer Trade. Come on, give me a wiki. Give me. Steering. Merchants can be sent to collect. No, I don't care. Steer. Multiple merchant bonus. In addition to steering outgoing value through a particular outgoing link, each merchant applies a boost to the trade value on that link. That is, the steer trade value increases by percentage as it passes between the two nodes so that the incoming trade value of the downstream node is larger than the corresponding outgoing trade value of the upstream node. Okay, makes sense. This affects all trade on that link, not just the merchant, so multiple merchants can boost. Okay, uh, one merchant boosts by 5%, two by 7.5, three by 9.1, and so on. Having more than five merchants will not increase the boost further. Modified by the country's trade steering. For example, if the first merchant has 20% trade steering boost, uh, we'll increase to 6%. Okay, so that's probably what's happening here, right? We're the only ones steering. Uh, it will be 5%, but because we have 39% trade steering, we do 6.9%. Okay. That's a lot less value than I thought it would be. And it probably means it's not worth steering from Mexico to Panama, right? because we'd be losing roughly 10%, because we'd only move 90% out of Panama, um, but then adding 6.9% again. Uh, while here, we don't lose anything, period. Yeah. I think it's not worth going through Panama. It's probably also not worth having this guy in Panama, honestly. This makes us 0.5 ducats, roughly. So if we could steer anywhere where we um, would get more than 0.5 ducats, which for example would be here, then we're already better. So is there a better place to steer from than Brazil? Uh, the Amazon, I mean. What about Brazil? Don't care about Brazil, only one exit. So, no. Steering here, we don't really care about steering in Rio Grande. And up here, there's nothing to do. Technically, we could try to steer like in California, eh? And get money to Mexico or Mississippi River be a lot smart. Eh, actually, it wouldn't be smarter to do the river. Well, maybe. No, I wouldn't. But there's not tons of money in California either. I think um, the Amazon is just better. 
So a guy from Panama, uh, we're now making 83, 84 ducats in trade, essentially. If we send you to the Amazon instead, let's say 84, yeah. Should see, yeah, we'll make an extra ducat. <laughs> we also make a thousand extra ducats from that event. Um, sure. Perspective? I think not. Why would we ever have perspective? Uh, you should certainly be suppressing. Because everybody here is a bit peeved. I did bring these home. Don't have anybody else sitting around. Kind of tempted to build some extra troops to give me another bit of garrison over on Naxos. Question is how lazy am I? And the answer is pretty lazy. I can't build here yet because I haven't caught it. Okay. Yeah, maybe then I'm not super lazy. Yeah, I'm quite lazy. Hmm. Yeah. Let's not be. Just gonna build a bunch of dudes here, put them up, and send them over by boat. If and when I remember. Who am I fabricating on here? Quack, slack, suck, suck, We already have a claim on apparently, so we're getting another one. Fine. Fine. Uh, what about you? No edicts anywhere. I mean, it's really just a question of having too many um, too many provinces that need converting. Uh, I know where the Balearis are though. I'm able to find that without the search feature. Core, state, convert, and also have the edict right. Two script in Portugal. The 13 colonies. Hello, 13 colonies. More heretics. This is going quite quickly. I mean, we're doing these in like eight months or less sometimes. And... Um, We have two of the guys, so obviously every four months or so, I need to convert another place, which is a lot of work. Okay, do we still have subjects? I forget, I think I still have subjects. We should do another eating spree once we have a few claims. I think it's time. Surely they love me by now, right? How could they not love me? You guys meet up, you guys meet up. And merge, get to Naxos. Why am I on Naxos and not on Crete? I don't know. Because I had a guy there and I don't have any guys on Crete. <laughs> There's your math. Yes, I just called it math. Um, merge, you are suppressing, good. So you can also pick up these four. And then you should be ready to beat up on some filthy rebels. Speaking of, what do we have here? Dahomians. Dahomites? Hello, Spain. Oh, automatically one Serbia. Now that's just mean. Poor little Serbia. Just got made. Well, expanded upon. But in the war with the Commonwealth. And now the Ottomans come along and just fudge them up. Not particularly nice. Speaking of not particularly nice, is there any cool jump we could do that would give us the ability to claim Venice? I mean, that's the Pope man. There's always the Pope man. Because if I can, I can fabricate on the Pope man, right? I can fabricate on you even on Rome be kind of funky and when I have that war I can take a province like Urbino which is in the same C node as Venice and then I can fabricate on Venice is that worth doing ah you know worth and worth right I mean what's even worth these days but it's certainly funky uh, I guess we just uh, claim before 
because it's right next door. Or long bay because it's bigger. Fine. Mamluks. I want probably Antioch. Because I'm definitely taking it. Alright, alright, alright. Claims coming in well. What did I say I wanted to do with my diplomats? Right. Eat my subjects, sure. But also maybe fabricate on Papal Man. Who's not in the Empire, so all we would have to fight is Popel State, Lunenburg, Switzerland, Memmingen, Naples, and Mulhouse. None of which would be much of a thing. I'm into it. So kinda into taking Rome. <laughs> well, it's gonna be super expensive, it's gonna annoy all of Europe. But I mean, after all we went through because of the tyranny of the Papists, I think it's only it's only fair if we um, cash in on that a little bit. Mm, I'm wondering, not about taking tech here, I don't think I want to do that, but about building some more infantry, I think I do. So then we can have a few focus on Creed as well. And we have even more troops over here to fight the evil that is Mr. M eventually. Ibiza, get done. Looks so clear in Nicaragua. Well, I can accept this. Uh, Cape Coast. Now, technically, well, this is a mix of religions, all right. Um, technically, no progress. What's going on here? Religious zeal. All right, we're about to cap on dip. I believe we could take Dip Tech to get the innovativeness boost. And I just said I don't want it. I know I did. But I'm also capping on Dip, so... <laughs> I'd wait until next year and only take a 40% negative modifier. It's still a pretty big hit. Could also take the Admin Tech early, although we just missed... No, we didn't. Did we ever have the choice there? I don't think we did. Um, the Head of Time thing. Could do that and then grab another idea group. I don't actually know what it would be. What would our next idea group be and would it be diplomatic? And there's influence, I've been considering influence, but really, yeah, we have a bunch of subjects, but they don't really count. And we're not doing a lot of subject work, so I don't think this is going to be great. Hmm. Anyway, as much as I love trade ideas, I don't think we need to do that. Hardly have any places to put our traders as it is. Yeah, no, it's probably not going to be a diplomatic group, so we're not spending on that. Uh, can't promote a culture right now. Wouldn't even know what to promote, but I can't. <laughs> Even if I did, I couldn't. Uh, there's probably going to be a bunch of Ottoman stuff. Uh, there might be different cultures, we'll have to see. But we, we don't have the slots anyway, so that's not it. So what do we do with our debt? I might actually just take tech next year. So the alternatives are development or buying mercantilism. I don't particularly love either. Although we're pretty low on mercantilism. And more would be. Certainly more. <laughs> Although we're very, very good at trade in the places that we have provincial trade power in any way. We're quite dominant mostly. So maybe it's not particularly efficient to grab extra mercantilism. Hmm. So yeah, I think it's dip development or take this tech. 
We don't love either. Oh, we should definitely check our estate thing, even Bob. I think we are very able to take land and um, stuff. Yeah, gain the atom power. Uh, I absolutely want it. Convert some place. Like Negroponte. And, 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 and this is not quite cap, but it will cap before the year, so we should spend some some dip. Either way, even if we want to take tech ahead of time. Biloki is quite cheap. Oh, we have encouraged going. <laughs> I mean, that's a good reason. Uh, let's develop some of that cotton. Mm, something else happened, though, and I forgot what. Uh, we should definitely swap out of this, some of this stuff. Go back to... What were we running? Oh, death cost. Hmm. <laughs> Don't need devotion. I want the settler increase back. And we're going to want the ideas kind of soon. But not quite yet. But there was something else. Right. Estates. Estates, 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 estates. We want to make everybody happy and then take their stuff. How are we doing on absolutism anyway? Not, right? Not very. Should also check into that. Because, <laughs> nice. Uh, we want to get that absolutism up. <laughs> up, absolutism. Anyway. Um, really want to start getting rid of these things. But there's also still crown land to take, so... <laughs> Uh, all estates gain loyalty. Uh, yes. What do you have for me? Ideally, we're making the nobles happy. Others will work as well, though. Half price inquisitor for converting a place. Diplo rep for subjugating somebody. Nee. Colonize the Guayara area. We get some more colonial oomph. I don't really think that we're super into colonial oomph anymore. Guaya? No? How do you spell that? Um, Guayara. Guayara. Guayara? We're going to Sol, Sao Paulo. So it's a fully new region then, I think. Regions, yeah, three places. Not too tough to do at all, but also not super tempting. I'm gonna go with the noble snow, the pastors one. Do the pastors have a privilege I wanna revoke? Don't necessarily want to revoke native assimilation still. Not that, so really no. So maybe we should go for the burgers one. What do you have I can take? Can easily take private trade fleets away. Can even easier take patronage of the arts away. I don't care about that at all. Yeah, let's go burgers. And then we start colonizing the stuff down there. And then um, we pop their stuff once they get happy. But for now, we're just gonna see some land. 90% we get an extra absolutism yearly. 15 max absolutism is actually a lot to get from Crownland. I think we might not have to do the whole disaster thing if we manage to get rid of our estate privileges. Now, there's certainly an argument to be made for, um, but you don't want to get rid of your estate privileges. You'd rather do the disaster thing and keep estate privileges around. But I just hate doing the disaster thing so much, so kind of not, kind of not into that whole thing. I'm also really not into doing a lot more raiding. I am into having more trade boats though, because we still want to hit that force limit, that naval one. And we have a lot of that. Statesman gone. Don't even remember which one the statesman is. Is it you? Yeah, it's Diplo Rep guy. I don't necessarily need Diplo Rep guy. But none of these do anything. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the rap guy because everybody else is useless. I mean, technically, Spine Network Construct is actually not the worst. Because we are... we have three guys on Spine Network Construction. We're limited by the amount of diplomats we have. But I'm not... not loving it. I did say I'm not not loving it, but I meant I'm not loving it. A singular not. Claims on me, converting Ibiza, good. Claims on me, whatever. Keep getting rid of Catlex. First circumnavigation, how dare they. Yeah, I was not going to do that again this time around, so I'm not. Not too peeved by the fact that they did. <laughs> Not too peeved, just a little peeved. It's nothing really to gain. I mean, there's a lot of military, naval success here. Because 10 combat with is a lot to gain, and the better galleys would also be very good. I don't think we need it though. So I think the early tech is not what we're going for. I think we just keep developing things. Keep looking for places like Nati Shortes, Nati Toshes, and consider... I think I will. Yeah, let's swap the Accepting Prayers to Death Cost Modifier. I think we're gonna have enough, um, whatever those points are called, Faith Mana, uh, by the time we need to swap to Idea Cost. This is fine. Champ tune, that Coco. Hmm, I like Coco. Do you have a character development going by any chance? You do not. Let's go to Champ tune. Uh, we don't need Missionary Strength here anymore, anyway, so let's just free swap here. And then develop some Coco. I'm aware of a bunch of gold mines I could develop. But I don't really think we need to go into that whole inflation trap. What we do need to do, of course, <laughs> is put a cut into this here video. If you enjoy what you're seeing, uh, and I do hope you do. Oh, did I pick up Fernando Poe? Huh. Um, then please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and of course, if you have anything to say, that comment section is still available to do just that. Thank you for watching. See you folks next time.